Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Young People of Bayside Art Exhibition which has been proudly organised by Bayside Youth Services and the Boombox Freezer Events Committee. As young people ourselves, we are passionate about this year's theme, Embracing the Moments. We chose this theme to encourage our artists to reflect on the opportunities presented to them despite the current global turmoil. We wanted our artists to embrace new skills, opportunities and experiences this year has presented for them. We would like to say a massive thank you to the artists who have responded so passionately to this year's theme and to the excellent work that they have created. It has been truly inspiring. We would now like to introduce the Honourable Mayor of Bayside, Councillor Lawrence Evans. Hello to our talented young artists, parents, teachers and anyone else tuning in today. My name is Laurie and I'm the Mayor of Bayside. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the various lands on which we are watching them today and any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who are vi viewing this video. We acknowledge that together we share a responsibility to nurture the land and sustain it for future generations. For the past, past 21 years, Council has been taking a joy in delivering the Young People of Bayside Art Exhibition, which showcases young up-and-comers who have a connection with Bayside. We are delighted to present this wonderful collection of some of the most exciting works from young people in Bayside. The pieces of work in this year's exhibition uniquely reflect the talent, diversity and passion of our young artists. The theme for this year's exhibition is Embracing the Moment. We've received 105 submissions from young people across the municipality, including sculptures, paintings, drawings and photography, and all of very high calibre. The young artists have responded to a theme in their own unique ways, including likening COVID-19 to dragons, embracing the vulnerability through self-portraits, and interpreting nature while addressing issues such as the dangers of social media and also connection with family and friends. Normally, we celebrate this exhibition by enjoying the artwork in the foyer of our corporate centre. However, with current COVID restrictions, we're delivering the celebration online. We would like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our young artists who made this exhibition possible. We also acknowledge our local teachers, parents and members of the community who have supported and also inspired the young artists in creating these pieces. I'd like to also thank our fabulous Freezer Committee. What a wonderful group. Freezer is a Victorian government initiative that supports young Victorians to get involved in their community by planning and running drug, smoke and alcohol-free music and cultural events for other young people. I'd like to thank our local artist Adrian Spur for being part of the judging panel. Thank you, Adrian. And a big thank you to local business Melbourne Artist Supplies for providing this year's first prize and a generous $100 gift card and for all your ongoing support of emerging Bayside artists. So thank you very much in this troubling time, Melbourne Arts Supply. To all the local organisations and school who have supported this exhibition in difficult circumstances, as well as the parents and guardians who continue to support and encourage their young people, we thank you as well. And of course, to every young artist that has shared their work, we thank you for making this exhibition possible and such a great success. On behalf of myself and my fellow councillors, and the entire Bayside Council, it is my pleasure to formally announce the online opening of the Young People of Bayside Art Exhibition. Congratulations. Take this mind of mine. Take this mind of mine.
Thank you to the Honorable Mayor of Bayside, Councillor Lawrence Evans, for those kind words. This year we have 10 prizes across three age categories primary years, middle years, and open age category, as well as a committee choice award and community choice. From our judge, Adrian Spur, he had the following overall feedback for the entrance to the exhibition. I thought the exhibition overall describes a diversity of artistic exploration and inquiry and a joy in the making of art that is remarkable. Added to that, the presentation of all the artworks is excellent. To all the artists, having your work exhibited in the council offices is a prize in itself. And being in this exhibition should encourage you to continue your art practice. To identify a winner for each category was really difficult because there were so many great works to consider. Every artist in the Young People of Bayside Art Exhibition should be proud of their efforts. Hello everyone, I'm Mary Sui from the Bayside Youth Council and I'm really happy to announce our primary year category winners for the 2021 Bayside Youth Art Exhibition. So our winner is Isabella, age 12, and her work, Moments in Time. The judges' comments are the treasure dots of moments in time and embracing nature in all its encompassing moments. Really spoke to the judge. Congratulations, Isabella. And our first runners up is Let Your Dots Fly Free by Lucia, age 11. The judges' comments are the beauty of butterflies flying free symbolizes the freedom of dots as nature brings us happiness. Congratulations, Lucia. And our second runners-up is a self-portrait by Erin, age 12. Our judges' comments are remarkable sensitive reflection. Congratulations, Erin, and well done, everyone. It is my pleasure to announce the winners for middle year category. Congratulations to India with the artwork they destruction. It is a complex composition which powerfully communicates the treacherous nature of self-representation and pr the proliferation of imagery in today's society. The runner-up goes to Elisa's work Chronoception. The art piece is a confronting and mysterious work that shows the eyes to think about the most effective and arresting composition. For the next runner-up is I See the Light for a Moment, created by Lola. According to the judges' comments, it evokes a sense of wonderland and this image beautifully conveys the unaffected wonder of childhood. It is my pleasure to announce the winners for open category. Congratulations to Jamie with the artwork ID. It is an imaginative consideration of a repetitive shape. Contemporary layout, theme, and the narrative descriptions of not only the many, but the individual. This artwork also make the judge think of all the artworks the artist can continue to make. And this is a great starting point. For the runner-up is Mindfulness created by Amelia. In the art piece, the limited palette wonderfully alludes to the meditative and reflective moment in time. That is beige intentionally sought after and uncomplicated silence. Yet the sculptural form alludes to the inherent strengths of the human condition. And the next runner-up goes to Nicole with her work Be in the Present. It is a very timely narrative. The use of a double score motive is an interesting variation of the traditional Venetian painting. Materials intense and exploratory use of acrylic paint to render a multiplicity of surfaces, shapes and forms is admirable. So a big congratulations to the three of them for winning the open tech category. The winner of this year's Committee Choice Award is Path to New Beginnings by Katie, age 22. Congratulations, Katie. The judges' comments for this work were that the finer details on this artwork and its messages really captured the theme of embracing the moment in the eyes of the judges. The winner of this year's Community Choice Award is going to be announced via Facebook post. 
Thank you everyone who has participated, supported or viewed this exhibition. With everyone's support, this exhibition has been made possible and we appreciate the hard work involved. If you would like to be part of events such as this, join Boonbox events today.